yeah. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are new, I would love for you to go down below and subscribe, and click that little bell button so you'll never miss when I post a new video. So today, I'm super excited because this is going to be a collaboration with Nia and Mani. We wanted to come together to give you guys some of our favorite natural hair hacks, so that way you can learn some things. Maybe you've heard these things, maybe you haven't. Um, we actually don't know each other's hacks yet. We won't see them until you guys see them when we post the videos. We may have some that are the same. We may have some that are different. Hopefully you guys can take something from both of our videos, which will help you to make your natural hair life a lot easier. Nia makes amazing natural hair videos, so you should definitely check out her channel and subscribe. The link to her channel will be down below, and the link to her video in collaboration with this video will also be down in the description box below as well. So let's go ahead and get right into my natural hair hacks. So like I said, some of these things may be a tad bit basic, but these are just things that I feel like have really helped me um, make my natural hair situation easier. So the first hack that I used to do all the time, I actually don't do it as often, but before when I used to travel a lot, um, I like to use a bar, like a soap bar that you can use on your body and your hair to save money on shampoo. My favorite one is the Dr. Bronner soap. It's actually like a multi-purpose soap, so you can use it like for detergent on your body, on your dishes, for your makeup brushes, on your hair, on your face, for your makeup. like. They're amazing. So if you want to save money on shampoo, or if you're traveling, you can use one of those shampoo, you can use one of those multi-purpose bars. Use it on your hair and your body, and like you'll save a lot of money on shampoo. Another really great multi-purpose bar that you could use this for is the Honest Bar Soap. They have lots of different scents and fragrances. Um, I think they also have a fragrance-free one if you have fragrance allergies. So yeah, save some money on shampoo and just use a multi-purpose bar for your hair. This next hack will be perfect if you like a more soft and bouncy wash and go over like a really crunchy stick wash and go. Also, if you have drier hair, you can't use just a gel. Mix your favorite cream moisturizer with a gel, like Eco Styler gel or any like gel products. Mix a moisturizer of your choice with that and that way you'll have like a really creamy gel consistency. That way you can moisturize your hair and get the whole all in one. You can kind of cater it to what you want. So if you want, you know, more definition, use more gel. If you want less definition, more moisture, use more cream. Sometimes when I'm feeling lazy, I like to actually mix the Shea Moisture Curling Hansen Smoothie and the Shea Moisture um, Souffle and just mix it all in a bowl and just do it all in one step. You guys know if you've seen my wash and go video that I usually do it separately. But sometimes when I'm lazy, I just mix the two and it, it gets the same results. You can also even add oils to a gel as well and it helps to loosen it a little bit so that way the hold is not as strong. Speaking of adding oils to products, if you have very dry hair and you use shampoo and it tends to really like dry your hair out way too much, add some oil like coconut oil or olive oil or jojoba oil or sweet almond oil, any oil of your choice, Add some of that to your shampoo to make it a little bit more moisturizing for your hair. This is almost like combining the pre-poo step with the shampooing step because a lot of people like to pre-poo their hair, meaning putting in an oil or some sort in the hair first before you shampoo um, to make sure that your hair doesn't get stripped of its natural moisture. But if you're lazy like I am, or if you just prefer just shampooing, add some oil to your shampoo and it will really help um, to moisturize your hair a little bit more. This next hack is something that I did in my wash and go routine. I love to deep condition my hair overnight. Now some people do not think that this is a good idea. Some people assume that it makes your hair mushy or it adds too much moisture. But as long as you're not using a deep conditioner that is heavy in protein, you're fine. Honestly, it's not really about getting a deeper deep condition. It's more so about saving your time because I like to split my wash day kind of in two. I like to shampoo, detangle, and condition my hair one day. I'll sleep with a deep conditioner overnight, and then the next morning I can do my wash and go or whatever I need to do the next day. And that really just helps me because I like to do my wash and goes the day of. I don't like to do them the night before because my hair will get smushed. So um, having my hair already deep conditioned makes it super easy. All I have to do is hop in the shower and do my styling technique the way I always do. Like I said, just make sure that you're not using a deep conditioner that is heavy in protein because that will break your hair off, it will make your hair very mushy. Really, you don't want to use a deep conditioner that has any protein at all. Go for something that's like strictly for moisturizing, not for like strength or resilience or like damage or anything like that. Look for something that's strictly for moisture. And also another hack on top of that head, wear some type of turban or towel over your hair if you deep condition overnight so that way it won't get on your pillow while you sleep. This next hack is something that I've been doing since I've been natural pretty much because my hair tends to shed a lot. 
So I like to either use a drainer in my sink when I wash my hair or cover the entire sink with plastic wrap. So that way while you're detangling your hair, your hair does not clog your sink or really get all over the sink. Um, and then right after you're finished washing your hair, detangling your hair, you can just take the plastic wrap and throw it away in the trash. And it's super easy, it's super clean, and you don't have to worry about having hair all over your sink or all like clogging your sink. Plus, plastic wrap is cheap. You don't have to spend a lot on plastic wrap. Just get like a 99 cent pack from Walmart. This next little hack is something that I always mention on my channel as well. I personally like to detangle my hair with a conditioner before I go in with a deep conditioner. And there are several reasons why I like to do this. Some people disagree, but these are my reasons, okay? I like to use kind of a cheaper conditioner to detangle my hair, like the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tangle or the Aussie Moist conditioner. Because these conditioners are so cheap, they're like $4 or $2 each. I can use as much product as I want without having to waste it. Plus, they both have so much slip, it's ridiculous. And it really helps me to detangle my hair quickly, like super quick. Now they are not that moisturizing to me, which is why I like to go on with a deep conditioner after that. But at least I'm using something that has a lot of slip, it's easy to use, it's quick to use, and it's cheap so I don't have to worry about wasting product. And that way, after I finish detangling my hair, I can just go straight into my deep conditioner, which you guys know if you've been following me for a while, that I love my deep conditioners to be thick and very, very rich. And those conditioners do not detangle well. They're very, very moisturizing and they go on easily, but they don't detangle as well as the cheaper conditioners do. So if my hair is already detangled and everything, I just throw on that thick deep conditioner on top. It's super easy, it slides right on. And I don't have to worry about wasting product because my hair is already detangled. So I'm literally just slapping the deep conditioner on top of my hair. I don't need too, too much. This next hack is something that I mentioned in my must have um, natural hair tools video in the Curls with Casey series. I love to use this hooded dryer. Um, when I do twist outs or braid outs or any type of style that has to dry overnight, I like to sit under this. Obviously, it doesn't look like this when it's blown up. It's really big. But I just love this because it's perfect for travel if you need to dry your hair while you're away. Um, and it just kind of preps your hair before you go to sleep. Like, you don't want to wake up and your style is still wet, so letting your hair sit under this maybe 30 minutes before you go to bed will help to like preheat your hair so that way you can guarantee that your hair will be dry in the morning. It's just the best thing that's ever happened to me for my twist outs and braid outs. <laughs> this next hack is important for protecting your hair before you go to the beach or to the pool. Obviously, the beach is filled with salt water that will dry out your hair and the pool, like public pools, are filled with chlorine and just lots of chemicals that will dry out your hair. So before you go to the beach or before you go to the pool, get yourself a spray bottle, some shea butter, and some coconut oil. Shea Take that up and just spritz it all over your hair before you go. This is going to give your hair a nice protective barrier so that way it's not being too dry out. Coconut oil helps prevent protein loss in the hair so it won't break. And shea butter not only gives your hair a nice coating and moisture protection from the chemicals and the salt, but it also helps to protect your hair from the sun. So this is also something that you can do if you're going to like an amusement park or you're gonna be outside for a while. Just spritz your hair with some coconut oil and some shea butter and they're like protected, okay? Protected. If you are allergic to shea butter or coconut oil, you can also use something like mango butter and olive oil just as an alternative. And you can also actually melt the shea butter or the mango butter if you want so that way it's not like rock solid <laughs> when you put it in your spray bottle. I forgot to mention that. I like to melt the shea butter and I'll do a video on this. I just wanted to like tell you guys about it before so that way you can look forward to the video. This next hack is for my high porosity girl. So obviously high porosity hair tends to take in too much moisture and release too much moisture at the same time. We just never have that nice healthy balance. So get you a spray bottle and put some aloe vera juice in it and store it in your fridge. And whenever you wash your hair or whenever um, you wet your hair, make sure you spray your hair with that aloe vera juice, the cold aloe vera juice. And it will help to seal the cuticles so that way um, it won't release too much moisture. This is actually something that I learned from Natural 85 a long time ago, like, a long time ago I learned this from her because she does it in her wash day video. I tried it and it really does work. I feel like my hair it does stay a lot more moisturized a lot longer. You can even use it as like a refresher spray because a low berry juice is also very moisturizing. So if you realize that your hair is getting a little dry throughout the week, you can just spray that aloe vera juice in and refresh your curls. Two hacks in one. <laughs> this next hack is something that I've also been doing for a very long time. If you've been following me for a while, then you already know that I love to tangle my hair with my fingers. I don't like using combs. I don't like using dimming brushes. 
I just prefer to use my fingers. And for some reason, sometimes my hair just does not have enough slip for me to get those tangles through. So take some olive oil on your fingers and whenever you tangle your hair, just rub it through. Make sure your hair is wet. You wanna do this with conditioner too, but if your conditioner just doesn't have enough slip, take some olive oil on your fingers, run it through, and it will help to melt the tangles detangles it will help to melt tangles out olive oil for some reason just adds so much slip to my hair i can't speak for all curl types but for me personally it adds a tremendous amount of slip like whenever i feel like my hair is not detangling i just grab some olive oil and boom tangles gone and last but not least this last little hack that um, i actually learned from a friend her name is nye Nye McFly on YouTube and also Nye McFly on Instagram. She posted that she puts a silk pillowcase over top of her car um, seat. So that way, whenever she sits, her fro doesn't get like frizzy or smushed. It just makes a nice smooth canvas back there. So I did that and it really has made a difference in my hair. It will also help to make sure that your hair is not being like snagged by car seats. I know this is like really particular, but you guys, these little things really do help the health of your hair. So just take any satin silk um, pillowcase and put it over top of your head seat in your car and your fro will be saved. It will be saved. Plus, no damage, no snagging, and no frizz. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you tried some of these hacks out because these things have really helped me out. Don't forget to check out Nia's hacks as well. Maybe you'll learn something more from her. And also subscribe to her channel. Like I said, it is amazing. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe to my channel too. Just saying, just saying. If you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Those really help me out. Comment your favorite hack below or comment a hack that we have in common. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!